that time of year again, isn't it? When there's lots and lots of sparkly, sparkly going on all around us. So here's a couple of little tips on ways in which you can go about photographing it. Number one is the time of day. You don't want to do this when it's pitch black at night because when it's just against a black sky, it doesn't look quite so good. If you can catch that twilight moment in between full dark and after the sun has set, you get a bit of blue in the sky and that looks awesome because there's a little bit of detail even on a day like today when it is really grey and dull and quite cloudy. I think it'll look nice. Wide angle lens. Let's have a look at it and see what's going on. I'm going to see if I can brighten things up just a little bit. Look, here we go. Doesn't that look good? You see how that sky came up when it's all black and dark? It's not so good, is it? So that is so much better. Composition, I'm using my wide 10 millimeter lens. And I'm gonna use this bit of fence down here, down the side, and just the edge of the last sort of decoration. Cause look, these people have put some trouble into it. And composition, that's the edges. What about what's at the top? Well, let's put the house down low. Let's kind of bend our knees a bit and point it up a bit. And I think that looks pretty good, don't you? The next tip is an exposure tip. Because it's dark, the chances are your camera is gonna to wanna to try and make it look like daylight. It'll make the shot a little bit too bright. So you might need to make the shot a bit darker than your light meter tells you. This is arguing with your light meter. And guess what? It's only my masterclass in photography. So if you get a camera for Christmas and you're not sure, get the person who bought you the camera to get you the masterclass too. It's a lot cheaper than a secondhand lens and you'll get awesome pictures. So let's have a little look. We've got our composition. We know what we're going to do. Let's set the exposure the camera wants and just take a quick shot. Yeah, it's just too bright, isn't it? The camera's trying to make it look like daylight and it isn't daylight. And also we want a bit more detail in that sky and we want a bit more excitement, don't we? So let's take the ISO down. I'm doing it with the ISO because I want a 15th of a second shutter speed so I don't wobble the camera. Right, my histogram says, yeah, we're getting quite dark now. I'm one full stop below what the camera says it should be. <laughs> Get in. Doesn't that look better? If anything, I might be a little too dark. I'm gonna do one more, just a sneeze brighter and I'm doing all my exposure with the ISO because that's what we need right now. I'm using a 15th of a second because I do not want to risk getting a blurry picture. I've got the camera resting on the fence and I'm using the LCD. That looks pretty good because I love that sky. That's nice. Oh yes. That looks really good, doesn't it? So those are the two things, time of day. Don't do it when it's full black because it looks like this. This is one I took down here last night with my phone. I came to have a little look just to see what it would look like. And the other one is don't forget to argue with your light meter because you can think and the camera can't. If you do Christmas, have a bloody wonderful Christmas. Have a really great time. If you don't do Christmas, I don't care. Just have a brilliant few days and lots of fun photographing all the sparkly, sparkly, the crazy Christians leave lying around. I've done another video about this, by the way. It's popping out a link top right corner of the screen if you'd like to go and watch it. It's in a very, very busy street. I came here because it's quieter because I want to talk to you. I want to say thanks for all your support over this last couple of years. It's been a tough couple of years. You guys in my Photography Locked Down group, my creative group on Facebook, thank you so much for being there, for entering the challenges, for pushing your creativity, and it's just so rewarding for me to see the difference it's making. Thank you to everyone who has bought my online courses. You're keeping the boat afloat because, of course, I've been unable to do workshops overseas for the last couple of years. That's not good for business. Even if you're just watching the YouTube videos, you are helping, you are making a difference because you're permeating it out into the world. And also thank you so much to everyone for your kind support about the Photo Biker series that I've started to do. I really enjoy making those. It's kind of fun. They're a lot of work and it's a learning curve, but it is kind of fun. And thank you so much for your kind, positive comments and your helpful comments as well suggesting where I can find inserts for, you know, motorcycle tank bags so that the cameras don't rattle around. 
suggesting ways in which we can do things and locations to go. So be well, have a really great few days, have a great Christmas if you do it, have a great few days if you don't. Thank you all so very much for being there. You guys rock. I'll see you soon.